Hi, I'm Lyle and I'm here at Liquid Instruments booth at Photonics West and I'm going to give you a quick demo of, a, of an optical system that we've got set up here uh, where we're generating light with a DFB laser and splitting it into two parts forming a Mark Zender inframeter. One of the arms is frequency shifted using an acousto-optic modulator for heterodyne detection whereas the other arm it just goes through a polarization controller. We then take those two arms, recombine them uh, and then interfere them at a photo detector generating a beat note at the frequency, at the shifted frequency um, of their acoustic modulator. The first thing that we're going to do is, is basically use an instrument on Moku Lab called a Bode Analyzer to quickly characterize the frequency response of the AOM. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to see or identify the right frequency, the perfect frequency to operate it at. And so what this instrument does is it, it's basically sweeping the frequency across the AOM while simultaneously measuring the input um, of the beat note generated at that detector. And so I'm going to quickly zoom in on this, uh, you know, this, this feature here. And what I want to do is just quickly identify the right frequency. And so it seems to be about 36.6 megahertz, which is within the spec of the actual AOM. Okay. And so now that I've done that measurement, what I can do now is quickly reprogram MokuLab to behave as a spectrum analyzer. And this is really powerful because what I can now do is observe that beat note in the frequency domain. And so what I'll do is I'll just quickly double check that this is set up at the right frequency. And then what I'm going to do is quickly drag a cursor up onto that beat note and just check that it's at the right frequency and that the amplitude level is what I expect. Once I've done that, I'm happy with that everything is looking you know, pristine. I'm going to quickly launch another instrument called the phase meter. And what this instrument allows me to do is it's the measurement I actually care about. Okay? So this instrument is going to be used to essentially measure environmental effects, so things such as vibration, shock, changes in temperature. Uh, this is why Mark Zender interferometers in this configuration are so useful. It's because they're extraordinarily sensitive to, you know, very, very minor changes in the environment. So what we'll do is just have a look at a time series of the phase of the beat note that's being generated by this interferometer. And so what you can see here is that if I tap the table, you can see these tiny, tiny, imperce almost imperceptible vibrations that I'm actually inducing, these, these, these shocks. And the phase meter is measuring them to within one micrometer precision. Right? And that's pretty amazing. Um, but the other cool thing about this instrument is that if I breathe on this fiber to heat the fiber up, then what's going to happen is that as I breathe on that fiber, I'm warming it up and it's expanding it, which means that the phase difference between those two arms is being measured by Moculab here. And so what you can see is so if I zoom out, you can see that as I breathe on the fiber, heat it up, and then stop and it starts cooling down. And this is literally the optical fiber expanding and then contracting again slowly. Um, and you know the really cool thing about this is that in order to set this interferometer up, check that everything was working, uh, to optimize its behavior, I didn't have to disconnect anything. I just basically used the same instrument, reprogrammed it from you know three different instruments, and then got to the measurement within two minutes. Uh, and that's it.